Dreams have always been a mystery that many people cannot understand. The reason why people dream or why people dream remains a debate without specific answers from scientists and academics. For the children of God, a dream is one of the ways in which God communicates with us. When we dream and see things, we should be able to ask the Holy Spirit to explain what the dream means, as most of the time they are not clear. If a person has been chosen by God, there may be signs through dreams. Why do you think God communicates through dreams? Write what you think in the comment section. You could be helping someone understand better. God bless you. As you do this, here are some dreams that may indicate that God has chosen you. Dreams like those of Joseph. Joseph was the son of Jacob, and when he was young, he had two important dreams. These dreams indicated that he had been chosen by God for a special purpose. The first dream, as recorded in Genesis 37 verses 5 to 11, was a dream in which Joseph saw himself and his brothers binding sheaves of wheat in the field. Suddenly, Joseph's sheaf stood upright while those of his brothers bowed down to his. The other dream was recorded in the same chapter, where Joseph saw the sun, the moon, and the stars bowing down to him. These dreams were symbolic and meant that Joseph had been chosen by God to play a key role in life. At that time, no one knew what they meant, in fact, his dreams caused jealousy and hatred. But over time, everything became clear. What Joseph's dreams meant was that someday he would rise to a position of great authority and be a leader in his family. This was fulfilled when Joseph eventually rose to power in Egypt, becoming second in command to Pharaoh and saving his family from famine. These dreams indicate that Joseph was chosen by God for a special purpose, and in the same way, God communicates with us when we have been chosen for a special purpose. When we dream of objects or elements bowing down to us, it means that, like Joseph, we may occupy positions of authority in the future with the opportunity to make important decisions that could have a great impact. If we have dreams like this, it is better to be careful with whom we share them, instead focusing on prayer, learning to face challenges, and acquiring skills while God takes control and guides us. Pharaoh's dream, the king of Egypt, in Genesis 41 verses 1 to 36, had two disturbing dreams on two nights and was worried about these dreams. In the first dream, he saw seven fat and healthy cows coming out of the Nile River and then grazing in the grass. Then, seven thin and sickly cows came out and ate the fat cows. After eating the fat cows, the thin cows remained thin and sickly. The second dream was similar, he saw seven full and beautiful ears of grain growing, and then seven thin and withered ears came up and devoured the healthy ears. Pharaoh did not understand his dream, so he asked his wise men and magicians to explain it, but none could provide a credible interpretation. It was after this that Pharaoh's cupbearer remembered Joseph, a slave he had met in prison who could interpret his dream correctly. He spoke of Joseph to Pharaoh, who summoned him and could interpret his dream. He told Pharaoh that both dreams meant the same thing, there would be seven years of abundance, the fat cows and healthy grains, and seven years of great famine, the thin cows and withered grains. This dream was more or less a warning for the future and showed that Pharaoh was chosen as the person to help save the people around him. When we have dreams that show numbers, these numbers can be interpreted to indicate a particular period, whether days, weeks, or years. Dreams that have adjectives following each other generally point to the meaning of the adjectives. For example, fat for abundance, beautiful for elegant, thin for low, angry for upset, stolen for taken, and so on. It is important to remember as many details as possible when dreaming to interpret them accurately. Dreams like Pharaoh's mean that God has given us a clue about the future, and like Pharaoh, he wants us to act immediately. Warning Dreams The story of ABC's dream in the Bible can be seen in the book of Genesis 20 verses 1 to 18. Abimelech, a king, took Sarah, Abraham's wife, 
As one of his concubines after Abraham lied saying that Sarah was his sister because he feared for his life. However, God intervened through a dream to protect Sarah and Abimelech's integrity. Abimelech had a dream, as recorded in Genesis 20 verses 3 to 7, in which God appeared to him and warned him that he was practically dead if he touched Sarah, and that he should return her to her husband Abraham, who was a prophet, and that Abraham would pray for him to live. This type of dream is a direct and clear warning, similar to the type of dream Joseph had in the book of Matthew 2 verses 13 to 15, to take baby Jesus and flee before he was killed. When God speaks to us directly in a dream or sends his angel, it means that we have been chosen by God. These types of dreams should be taken seriously as they are usually warnings against imminent danger or to prevent us from doing something wrong. They can range from serious warnings like sinning, marrying the wrong person, or getting into trouble at work, to warnings like not getting into a particular vehicle or leaving home early to avoid some kind of evil. Whatever the case, when we are warned in a dream, we do not joke about it but obey it, especially when we know it comes from God. Encouraging dreams, dreams can also come in the form of visions, as seen often in the New Testament. In the book of Acts, the Apostle Paul goes to Corinth, a city known for its iniquity and idol worship. In Acts 18 verses 9 to 10, the Lord tells Paul in a vision, Do not be afraid, keep on speaking, do not be silent. For I am with you, and no one is going to attack and harm you, because I have many people in this city. This vision acted as reassurance for Paul of God's presence and protection encouraging him to boldly preach the gospel in the face of opposition or fear. When we are chosen by God, it does not mean that things will always be easy for us. There will still be opposition and challenges, and there may be times when we need to be comforted for some reason. Encouraging dreams often take place to let us know that God is with us, in control, and that we are on the right path, despite what we see happening around us. The best response to dreams like this is to continue fervently doing what God has chosen us to do, without fear or discouragement, as the end will be glorious. These examples show how a dream is an important way in which God communicates with his chosen children. It is through dreams that God communicates, confirms, and appoints us to specific roles or missions in line with his divine plan for us. When interpreting dreams that indicate we have been chosen by God, the first thing we should do is write them down so as not to forget them. Then, we should try to categorize them based on what the dream is about to know what kind of dream it is, whether it is an encouragement, a warning, or a prophecy. Once we know which category the dream belongs to, we begin to decipher what the message is and whether we should act immediately or wait. Overall, it is important to show humility and attitude so that God knows we feel honored to be chosen. Then we should act by praying for discernment, if necessary seeking wise counsel, but being careful with whom we speak. It is also very possible that the devil mimics dreams pretending to be a messenger from God, so we should seek confirmation from the Bible, testing the content and source of our dream using the Bible and reflecting in prayer so as not to be deceived. Most importantly, we should be prepared to take action and obey what God is telling us. We should remember that some dreams do not come true immediately, so let us remain humble, patient, and trust in God's timing, trusting that He will reveal His plans for us as we walk in obedience and surrender to His will. Lord, I pray today that you open my spiritual mind to know and understand what my dreams are telling me so that I can make the right decisions and be the person you have chosen me to be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. If you are new here, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. For regular viewers, remember to spread the love to your friends and family. Join our WhatsApp community through the link in the description. Support our channel by donating through our PayPal account, also in the description. God bless you.